I'm Sylvia DeVries and I'm from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. In October of 2003, I was diagnosed with stage 3C ovarian cancer. I had major surgery at that time for debulking purposes to remove my reproductive organs that were all in, infected with the cancerous tumors as well as my appendix. This was followed by six rounds of carboplatin taxol chemotherapy. I was in remission until December 2009, at which time we had to commence with carboplatin taxol chemotherapy again. And as is the case with cancer, it becomes somewhat immune to chemo treatment after a while. And after three treatments, it proved to be unsuccessful. Then we began with calyx, six rounds of that. And again, I wasn't responding, followed by Gemzar. The Gemzar proved to be the harshest of the three different chemotherapy formulations in that it attacked my bone marrow and I really did have a hard time with it. On August the 2nd, my Canadian oncologist deemed me terminal and gave me approximately two months to live. My husband began researching for other alternative cures and he was very much impressed with the ISIL's treatment and after doing some research, making various phone calls, and speaking with another woman from Windsor, Ontario, who had experienced the ISILS treatment in July of 2010, we made the decision to come to the ISILS Treatment Centre. We arrived here on October the 14th, and we are here until November the 11th. Now, for anyone that is considering coming to the ISILS Treatment Centre, let me paint the picture of what conventional chemotherapy is and what you're going to find here at the ISIS Treatment Center. It's profound, it's moving, and it's rewarding to come here. Conventional cancer treatment attacks the tumors. And when it proves to be unsuccessful like it is in my case, or was, they deem you terminal. We weren't prepared to accept that. The ISIS treatment treats your whole body, your immune system, so that you can properly fight the cancer as God had intended your body to do. When we came here, the first two weeks were dedicated just to repair the damage that the chemo had done to my body, to get my platelets, my blood counts, my body chemistry where it needed to be so that I could gain the strength. When I came here, I was admitted to the ISIS Treatment Center in a very frail state, in a wheelchair, I couldn't walk, had virtually no strength, wasn't ambulatory. In less than three weeks, I was able to walk six blocks to the ocean from here. Now when you consider cancer treatment, most of us have seen a, a bevy of hospitals and cancer centers. They're very sterile, and I felt like a number, as most people do back in Canada. Down here is not the case at the ISIL Treatment Center. The doctors are very caring. They're very aggressive with their treatment. They're very hands-on. You're not a number. Daily examinations, and if they find that there has to be some remedy to your platelets, your blood count, whatever the case may be, it's attended to immediately. Very caring environment here. And let me tell you about the nurses they put the Canadian nurses to shame. What a loving environment, what a caring environment it is here. I can't say enough about it. Let me talk to you about a hospital room. When we made the decision to come here, I dreaded a sterile hospital environment. I dreaded the hospital food. Well, far from it, let me tell you. It's like we're in a hotel room. Our view looks out over the ocean. There is a queen-size bed so that you and your companion, your husband, your spouse, your wife, whoever it is that comes with you, shares the room with you. Yes, there is a hospital bed there that all your treatments can be taken in, but you have the comforts of a hotel room there. Recliner chair, television, table and chairs, your own private bathroom. It's impeccably clean here. A lot of care goes into everything that is, is done to run this place beautifully and let me tell you about the food it's an adjustment yes it's it's a far cry from the starches and and the wrong foods that we have been eating because don't forget 
You eat the wrong foods, you get sick. And I certainly learned that the hard way. Here we're eating pure food, fruit, vegetables, and everything is fresh, beautifully presented in the dining room. And the dining room is a lovely experience too because you get to meet other people that share the same journeys, the same prognosis, medical professions back in their country telling them they are terminal. And they come here and wonderful miracles happen. And let me tell you about my miracle. The CA125 tumor marker falls into a range of 0 to 35 as being normal. And my gynecologist in the U.S. has said to me on numerous occasions that the CA125 is more microscopic than even a CAT scan is. When I came down here, my CA125 was 141. It had never been that high. In less than three weeks of my treatments here, it had dropped in half to 77.9. No chemotherapy could have achieved that in three short weeks. And the beauty of it is I feel stronger, I feel more vibrant, I feel like I'm alive again, and I know I'm going to be healed. This is the place to be.